Good morning. We survived our first night on a cruise ship. We're off to Bruges. Welcome to Belgium. Not the prettiest port, is it? I assume these are all the buses that are going to take us to town. But, uh, yeah. Seabrook. Seabrook? Seabrook? I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it, to be honest. Anyway. Right, we're off. Look at the size of it. Right, we're going to get the shuttle bus to the little town and then get the train into Bruges. Welcome to Blankenburg in Belgium, somewhere I've never heard of. Never heard of before we've been here. Anyway, we're not spending any time here, we're going into the station by this nude statue and going straight to Bruges. We arrived in Bruges, man in a Spongebob suit. Right, let's, uh, Spongebob uh, outfit. Right, let's find the centre of Bruges. So Bruges is the set of the very famous movie in Bruges. And you know them two in that. Is it Brendan Gleeson and who's Colin, the other Colin Farrell? Colin Farrell. Colin Farrell will be me, the miserable one, and you can be Brendan Gleeson. So we'll have to have some arguments. Right. Well, there's a claim I already don't believe. No way it's the best attraction. Oh, toilets. I need a toilet. Right, let's go there. This is good. I always wanted to go, well, I haven't been, but I always wanted to go to this in uh, Brussels. Oh, look, theme parks. Now we're talking. Look, theme park maps. Right, first stop in Bruges, we're going to go into the chocolate, what's it called? The Old Chocolate House Tea Rooms, it's called. Meant to be the best hot chocolate See, in Bruges. Top. See, yes, you, yeah, you've seen everything on TikTok. Meant to be the best one, so. Give it a go, yeah. Ooh. This is apparently the best hot chocolate brew. Look at that. The best hot chocolate in brew. You get a cup of warm milk and a hot so and a and a. It's basically a chocolate cupcake in it. Oh, just chuck it all in, and then you just stir the whole thing. Yeah. You might need to do it. You've got bad hands. Oh, okay, it's going. I've never seen that before. That's oh. how you make hot chocolate, but it's basic. I've seen some places where you just add chocolate balls, but I've never seen like a whole cupcake. It's basically a way to do half the work for them. <laughs> they give us a chocolate, chocolate cupcake and a cup of milk. There you go, you make it. That'll be the experience. Really. Eight quid for that. There you go. We'll let, let you know what it's like. How is it? Really nice. Is it? Big old cup. You could have a bath in that. <laughs> that. That's actually bigger than the bath in our room on the ship. Have you seen the state of that bath? Yeah. It's like a square. Let's look at that was that old chocolate house. It was very nice, wasn't oh, it? So good. One of the best hot chocolates ever. It reminds me a bit of insomnia hot chocolate in Dublin. Yes. If, if you ever go to Dublin, get an insomnia hot chocolate. But yeah, it's like yeah, very the Starbucks nice. of Ireland. Yeah, very good. For hot chocolate. But better. But better. Um, yeah, if you, yeah, if you come here, I think that's, that's oh, a great yeah. place. Nice and quiet in there as well. Yes. Yeah. Really nice hot chocolate. Fabulous hot chocolate. Fabulous. Food critic. Right. Yeah, just, uh, what I like trying to yeah, waffles is. Food, oh, for God's sake. What I liked about the waffle was it was very light, it wasn't too yes. heavy and yes. hard to eat. Right, anyway, that's that done. Cut. Right, is that swan made of chocolate? Answers in the comments. Do you know, I think it is actually. It is, look, at it. look at its neck, yeah, it's all glistening, so I think it is. It is chocolate. Oh dear. So, I'm gonna get this. 
You're gonna get that, are I'll you? I'll meet you on the boat. <laughs> right, well, good, you're paying for that, see ya. Well, we did think of getting up in Zeebrugge, Zeebrugge, whatever. We did think of going to Plopsaland, Japan instead, but it takes like two hours on the train because I think you have to go somewhere else, change, and then back up to Japan. So we did think about doing that, but it was too much hassle. Okay, he's really driving that quick, isn't he? Like a speedboat. Oh. Hello guys, welcome on board on this lovely wave. My name is Wix and I'll be your guide for the next 30 to 35 minutes if everything works out well. Fantastic. Uh, have a lot of nationalities here, so I'm going to do the tour in English, is that okay? Yeah. yeah. Alright, the film is on board. Okay, no Dutch. Alright, we have a good Francophone on board. Okay, go. Voilà. Bienvenue à bord, je m'appelle Witz et je suis ton guide pour 30, 35 minutes si tout va bien. Ok, là, voilà, let's go. See these buildings here, yeah, all these well. windows are bricked in. That's the uh, window tax back in back in the day. The more windows you had, the more tax you had to pay. And that's where they get the term daylight robbery. Window tax in it. Thank God we haven't got many windows. Hey, I know. God, that looks old in the corner. Do you know this reminds me of? The Grand Place in, Bel in uh, not Belgium, in Brussels, which is in Belgium. <laughs> Just much smaller and less busy. Right, what's next on the agenda? Vignog. Keep giving me Irish lessons. Um, we've got the tower first. There it is. Let's work our way to it then. Okay, this is the famous Belfort, I think they call it, right here in the centre of Bruges. I've no idea what it's famous for, apart from being in the movie in Bruges. So. Neve's been here before, haven't you? You've been to Bruges before. So. Have, what? Yes. We were in this square before as well, weren't you? What, what happened yes. in this square? Yes, so I was here a few years ago uh, on a girls' trip, and yeah, I got do you, sick. Do you too many drinks? Do you too many drinks, and I got sick over there on that, on that curve. So this, I'll show the ladies and gentlemen. So Neve drinking, vomited here, and there ran all the way down there into that grate there and that's where the vomit was no, no, that's no that, that was a tsunami of vomit <laughs> it was a tsunami it was well what's up there the view the view of down here I can see that from down here anyway, so... Well, I'm how how I'm much is it? I'm going up then. Right. I suppose we could do. Let's go and have a look how much it is. 
Right, well we won't be going up there. Two reasons. One, it's 15 euros just to go up there. That's quite expensive, I think. But two, sold out of tickets anyway. So it's all sold out till four. Well, yeah, we want to be gone by then. So, well, like I say, we could see everything that's down here from down here anyway. So it doesn't really matter. So, right, well, let's go to the chips museum. Apparently, there's a museum about. Comfort. Yeah, we might do the chocolate place then. Right. And also, why is it chocolate? Yeah. I think that obviously come to Belgium twice in Belgian chocolates because Chris doesn't seem to think that you need to come to Belgium twice in Belgian chocolates. You can buy Belgian chocolates anywhere. You can. See them all over Aldi and Belgium, stuff. Belgium not buy any Belgian chocolates. Look at that. That's what you come to Belgium for. Buildings like that. Great architecture. Yeah, this is what they're famous for. These sort of squares with great buildings like that and then these these Dutch style um, narrow buildings. I forget what they call them, but very cute. Right. Right, so we like to do something different on this channel. So there's us that goes to Alton Towers all the time, but this is the Museum of Chips or Fries. We're going to give this a go. This is the world's only chips museum. I don't know what to expect, but uh, we're going to learn about potatoes. They're fake. Whoever knew there were so many different shapes of potato? These are just blocks of wood. They're not real chips. Look, it's just wood. It's not real chips. Well, it should be. It's a chip museum. Come on. It's me waking up at night, looking for snacks out of the fridge. Smallest fries. No. I don't believe that. Or maybe. No, oh, I don't know. Oh, I love the little orange lemon Fanta. That's cool. The longest potato fry. A chap from Ghent, four hours to fry a potato fry. It was nine, nine metres long. It's as long as this. Wow, that is long, isn't it? I'm looking at a big crisp there. Okay. It's a rocket launcher for potatoes. That's what this is. Potato gun. It's a rocket launcher. Well, I did not expect this. Chip Cabaret, they must sing and dance or something. Oh. I don't know what to make of that. Did you ever think you'd see a load of chips doing cabaret? I don't know, Obama eating chips. Who else have we got? Is that, I don't know who that is. Maria Carey eating chips. Yeah, Rihanna eating chips. It's just famous people eating chips. Mm. 
Well, this is kind of interesting. Where the term French fries comes from. You know what the word French? Not. All oh, right. So French fries should actually be Belgian fries. That's really interesting. I don't know what all this machinery is for. Torture rack for a potato. Hmm. Have a look. A motorbike. Chip Museum own delivery motorbike. And this is a. This is where you can fry your own chips, I guess. There's a big hole in that, so the doors disappear. Yeah, lovely. What a weird museum. What can I get you, everyone? So, just in the chip museum, somebody's out delivering chips to the, to the population of Belgium. Fast chips. That's going to be my. My company aim. Fast chips. <laughs> Don't break it. Sorry. Do they run out of chip merch now and facts that have gone on to mustard at Coleman's uh, mustard? Villain mustard up there. And then you've got pots. Yeah. Letterboxes thing now. Oh, I want a sticker. They look good. Oh, they look great. I want one of them. Stickers. There's even a gift shop. I can get a mug. Chip Museum mug. 10 euros. Salt shaker. Let's go and get some actual chips. Recommended. Comes recommended by restaurant guru. And of course, we couldn't come to the prize museum without getting some fries. Two big cans of fries, we've got two sauces, we've got a mayo and a curry, two bottles of water, ten quid. I don't think you can argue too much with that. How's the chips? The fries? Really good. The red hot. Really, uh, you know, fresh. Cook them to, to order. And the mayo is like no other mayo I've ever tasted. They're very nice. The, cur the curry is a bit strange. It's a bit it's a bit like mustard, isn't it? Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Get yourselves here. Forget the museum, that's a bit rubbish. But the chips are great. Definitely worth coming for the chips. Nice one. And that was the chip museum. The museum was pretty, pretty poor, wasn't it? But uh, chips were good at the end. But yeah, I'd, I'd never want to see another chip as long as I live. Yeah, no, chip? Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> 11 quid oh, okay. to get in. Oh, there you go. Okay. 11 quid to get in there. But you can buy a ticket that gets you into there and the chocolate museum for £20. Right. Onwards. Don't get knocked down. <laughs> So, have to buy these, the Bruges socks with the fries on. Got to get them. Man loves his socks. This is a very famous beer wall here in Bruges. And of course, a quote by one of life's great philosophers, Homer Simpson. Yeah, it's a, every sort of beer you could imagine is. You can get here. I think was it ten thousand different beers or something. Wow! Awesome. Fancy a pint? That's a no then. In Brussels they have the mannequin piss. In Bruges they have the mannequin beer. 
taking a leap. Find Blackpool Pleasure Beach <laughs> on the thousands. Chocolate. chocolate by Julia. Julie. Julie. Handmade. Family owned business. No. Because we don't give money to the man. Just uh, mom and pop. Well, mom in this case. I don't know who pop is. <laughs> what do you think of Bruges? Lovely. I love it. Very, very pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Nice, nice little city. It's a nice little break off the cruise. You wouldn't spend too long here. Nice day. Right, so we head back to the train station in that direction and back towards the, the ship. Yay. Just like that, we're back on the ship. Look oh wow! Oh wow! What was this in here? Pirate day, dress like a pirate or something, or talk like a pirate. Wow, we've got loads of stuff. Battleship bowling party game. Oh, <laughs> Oh, we're getting late now. Ah. Let's open our door. It's very well organised. So there's the buses, there's, they've got loads of buses constantly bringing you back. The only do anything is you're not allowed to walk down to the end here and take a picture with the ship. You just, you've got to bus drops you there right at the end of the runway if you like and then straight back on yeah you can't you can't go anywhere else but yeah it's very well organized good old Disney it's what you're paying two grand for isn't it it's taken us a bit by surprise but it's actually pirate night tonight well there wasn't much information on the app so we're like it's a pirate night do we get a pirate night never know so we didn't really go all out we just bought a few little things just Nice sword. AKA this sword, this pantaloon, and an eye Yeah, but the eye patch fell off. So yeah, we're not wearing it. Oh, yeah. but we also got pixie dusted an eye patch and kind of a hot so. Pixie dusted an eye patch? Yeah. People won't know what that means, so I don't know what it means. Right, so basically we're just wearing pantaloons and it all on the chain and an inflatable sword. So, ah. It's a bit bigger than that boat uh, that they had on Only Fools and Horses. Remember that? Yeah, right. Well, yeah. They got stuck in the hole and with some drugs. Oh, but no, diamonds, I think they were, and they were gonna smuggle them back. No, they weren't stuck in a hole. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, they were. They were in a hole. With some, and they were going to Amsterdam for some diamonds. And they went on a boat. Anyway, it's all relevant. And they got a fishing boat, basically. And they followed the Zeebrugger to Hull Ferry. Zeebrugge to Hull. Well, it was going the wrong way and they ended up in Zeebrugge. And instead of Hull. I can't quite remember the timeline of events. If anyone's seen this, do let me know. Anyway, where's Uncle Albert when you need him? Right, we're off to see the Golden Mickeys. It's like, it's like an awards show, I guess, is it? But I don't really know, but... Not allowed to film it again, so I won't. Uh, right. We've been, a, we've been specially invited, haven't we? Along with every single other person on this ship. There you go. Right, see you after the show. That was, was alright, wasn't it? Yeah, it was really good. Kind of fun, that. Yeah, I enjoyed that. There's gold Mickeys everywhere now, look. I'll tell you what I thought. There wasn't enough awards. Yeah. There should have been more awards, more golden Mickeys. But yeah, it's an impressive idea. Really cool. If you come on the cruise, you've got to come and see these shows. They're very good. We do have Mickey bandanas. Well, you can't see Mickey on it, so I think I've tied him up. But yeah. Arr! Arr! <laughs> Are you joining me with the ahars?
Oh, you're having a piss, right? Okay. Arr! Do you know any other pirates? Uh, splice the main brace and uh, all the things that pirates say. Somebody out there said, uh, have you got your sea legs? And the other fella said, I de how dare you, I haven't touched a drop. I think they were confusing it with legless, not not sea legs. Arr, anyway. I think I've got my tash on upside down, actually. Oh no, that can't be right. I look like Inspector Cluzo. God, I could never have a tash. It itches your nose too much. I don't like some sort of 70s porn star. Oh, jeez. Avast ye landlords. No, nope. not taking it off, staying on. No, I like it. It's growing on me. Can someone make this one walk the plank, please? Walk the plank. Yeah, plank. At least I've got more than one eye. <laughs> Having one eye is actually really difficult. Mm. Where's your parrot? Uh, she's got a parrot. Fell off. Next Ooh, that's year, good. Next, Look at that one. Oh, we? Yeah. Well, I like cut a leg off as well and just come with one leg. One hand, like yeah. They've been to Primark. Just kick the door down. Do not throw anything over the side of the ship. That includes people. It's quite quiet up here, isn't it now? Where is everyone? Still in Bruges, do you reckon? <laughs> we'll come out here and go on the aqueduct tomorrow. Lovely. Right, we're going for dinner. This is the aqueduct. The aqueduct is a slide that goes all the way around. It'll be fun, that, won't it? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah. Nice sunset. Donald's bum sticking out of the chimney. Look at that. It's a great shot, is that? Oh, behind the post. Right, we're up, up here in the adults only section, which is right at the top of the ship. We're 18 and 18 plus. I have no idea what that says, but it's. But if you want to avoid the kids, this is the place to be. Oh, it's lovely around here. Has it been raining or what? They Do they? Look, Belgian flags flying. Ah, Stella, this, this is where we need to come. Tomorrow, chill out here because I'll be, be much less busy. Yeah. Look at all the um, high-rise buildings all the way down the coast. Ah. Looks like Barcelona. We have found the gym. It's only taken us over 24 hours, but we eventually found it. This is a juice bar. Look at this. I'm going to be on here tomorrow morning. Look at these bad boys. They are brilliant. Get your running on, out on the, looking out on the ocean. Just be blue as far as you can see tomorrow, I guess. So loads of treadmills. 
That's some busy. I don't know what these are. Cycle machines. Oh, spa this way. Weights. Lovely. Okay, so we're feeding for dinner. We're up on the top deck. We just set off again. We haven't been up here at night yet. Look at it all. It's very breezy. That looks so cool. All the aqueducts and stuff. It's lit up. It's a party! Everyone's partying on the poop deck. There's me on the stairs like a princess. Right, so we're going to become detectives. We've got to solve the mystery. What should we do? Missing puppies, stolen show, or the plundered paintings? We like puppies. Okay. Welcome, detectives. This is a big case. Let's check in with Mickey. Don't worry, we'll get right on it. <laughs> oh boy, am I glad you're here. Because we've got one doozy of a case. You just won't believe it, but... Paintings are being stolen right here on the ship. <laughs> yeah, Goofy, I know. Are there any suspects? Seven of them. And the ship's really big. Well, I think we're going to need some help. <laughs> no problem. Check out our new detective. They're going to help us crack this thing. Oh, oh. I just know it. <laughs> Detectives, we need to catch that criminal and find those stolen paintings. And that means you're going to have to search all around the ship. Susan, our detective trainer, will teach you how. You will use a high-tech detective badge. This is an amazing all-in-one tool that you'll use to solve the case. Your team will share one badge. It's a bit of card. To use it, you will need to... So we're going to try and solve this case. We're doing the second one of the case, so the plundered paintings. We've got to go on all the decks, all the decks of the ship, and find clues. And then here are the suspects. You've got to work it out. It should be fun at 11 o'clock at night, shouldn't it? Right, where's this sodding lift? It's missed us again! Right, we'll just walk. We're here on deck 10. Found the first clue. I wonder if the suspect has been here. Use your night scope to see if there's a clue. <laughs> Handprint. Looks like a left-hand print. That's a clue! <laughs> Where's that print? All of our suspects leave a left-hand print. Check your case book. Why don't you write that down? Check the pictures and read the descriptions in your case book to see who you can call. I can't be Captain Oak because I ain't got a left hand. Detectives, go to any painting on your map and continue searching. Right. Six clue now. Fishing around here. <laughs> oh, I saw something fishing around here. Fish out of the way with your finger. See if there's anything hidden in the tank. What's behind that one there? Yeah. 
something behind it. Yeah, what is that? What's it's lipstick. That? Great work. Lipstick. Yeah, how would that go down our list? Let's well, not. Who wears lipstick? She wears lipstick. Not man, is it? Oh yeah, she wears lipstick. So it's definitely all like that. She's in jail, Cruella. Alrighty. So it can't be Jafar and it can't be... Somebody else. Right, let's cross them off. The Mickey hand goes down. With what floor it's on, the it? How cool is that? Ha! Ah. You might have a red gem. Better mark it in your case book. Wow! You sure found a lot of clues. Who do you think committed the crime? On to the next location to identify the criminal. Red gem. Hmm. Oh. It's the evil queen. The bitch for stolen the paintings. I'll bleep that bit out. Right, I'll do that again. <gasps> the bleep has stolen the paintings. Ah, <gasps> the evil queen. There you go, I think we've solved the mystery. Who plundered the paintings? It was her there. Evil queen. Game over, that was quite fun, wasn't it? That was quite fun, yeah. yeah. I enjoyed that. Moonlight on deck of the Disney Dream. It's getting very late now. But thought I'd come and have a stroll around. Neve's gone to bed. But yeah, I'm just moving very slowly. Oh, look, green, green lighting down there. Yeah, we're just moving very slowly. I mean, we could probably slow down a funeral at this rate. But we've got all today. Uh, sorry, all tomorrow at sea. And I mean, we're only going from Bruges to Southampton. So goodness knows where it sails to all that. At what speed, but to take 36 hours to get from Bruges to Southampton, I mean, it's just, I don't know how that works, but yeah, there's it's, it's hardly anyone about now because it's so late, but it's still so warm as well. We've had great weather, so um, yeah. If anyone's thinking of uh, doing one of these cruises, I definitely recommend it. Disney Dream, awesome. Look at this, you can just sit here. Sleep on deck if you want. Beautiful. Um, see you tomorrow. Ah. Peace.